Now that the writer's strike is over, Jimmy Kimmel opened up his Monday, October 2nd, Jimmy Kimmel Live show by taking aim at Donald Trump, who is facing four criminal indictments and a total of 91 felony charges so far this year. Trump is now facing 91 felony counts, 91 felony counts, Kimmel said as the audience cheered. It's like all of Trump's wife, Melania's birthday wishes came true at once. Every time something Trump happened in the news, I would get texts asking me if I was bummed we didn't have a show that night, and mostly, I was fine. But the one that really got me was when they booked Trump in Georgia, and he self-reported his weight at 215 pounds. I almost crossed the picket line for that, he continued. After Trump reported his weight as 215 pounds, Kimmel couldn't help but chuckle. If I were the judge in the case he has going in New York right now, I'd start the trial by saying, look, we're gonna get to the fraud thing, but, first, hop up on this scale, big fella, Kimmel said. If he's 215 pounds, that means he is 30 pounds lighter than his last physical. When he was president, he was 245 pounds, which means he is either lying or the colonel is now frying his chicken in Ozempic, diabetic drug. Kimmel also touched upon Trump's mugshot which was taken in August after he was arrested and indicted for allegedly overturning the 2020 election in Georgia. He made a t-shirt out of his mugshot to sell to his fans, Kimmel said. Now this, to me, is classic Donald Trump. He's selling a and never surrender shirt with a picture of him in the act of surrendering on it. The TV host, 55, also made some jokes about Trump, 77, attended a fundraiser near Disneyland in California recently. Supporters from all around the Southland paid $600 a pop for bright new ideas like this solution to our ongoing problem with forest fires, Kimmel said. The comedian then played a clip of the former president talking about low-flow showers in California and how the rich people in Beverly Hills, who pay a lot in taxes, don't smell as nice. They're taking a shower, they're told to hurry up, Trump said in the video clip. You're only allowed a small amount of water. That ridiculous man had the nuclear codes for four years, Kimmel quipped. Wait until he finds out about the showers in prison. He is not going to be happy. As OK previously reported, Trump returned to New York City on October 2nd to attend his civil fraud case. Hours before, he went on a rant via Truth Social. I'm going to court tomorrow morning to fight for my name and reputation against a corrupt and racist attorney general, Letitia James who campaigned on getting Trump, and a Trump-hating judge who is unfair, unhinged, and vicious in his pursuit of me. He values Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida, at $18 million, when it is worth 50 to 100 times that amount. His valuations are fraudulent in pursuit of election interference, and worse. This whole case is a sham. See you in court, Monday morning, he fumed. The judge, Arthur Engeron, refuses to accept our big win in the Court of Appeals, nullifying much of the case that the racist Attorney General of New York, Letitia James, has charged us with. Nobody can believe it.